Hold it down. Yeah, third player. How's that? Has uh, Jasmine Salad. Um, so you can't make it out real well. It's a lettuce, tomato, olives, feta cheese, and a mustard vinaigrette. And then we had the chicken bastillo instead of the seafood. It's layers of thin pastry filled with uh, uh, chicken and uh, mushrooms. And then uh, lemon chicken, which is a braised chicken with green olives and preserved lemon. And then roast lamb. And that's got Moroccan tradition roasted lamb shank and natural juices. And then couscous of seven vegetables, which is the national dish. Steamed tiny pasta served with seasoned vegetables. And then the two pastry shells that we have. And then the Marrakesh feast is the Torah soup. That had uh, it's already soup with tomatoes, eggs, lentils, and beef. So it was lentils. The beef uh, brew out rule, which is that one that we really, really like. That's uh, the thin pastry uh, stuffed with seasoned minced beef, fried and sprinkled with cinnamon. And then the Marrakesh uh, Mixed Grill, it's tenderloin and beef shish kebab, lamb sausage that we really like, marinated chicken kebab, and it's served with herbs, roasted potatoes, and then that pastry that we had again. And then the name. Um, Marrakesh. So this is the goat cheese pita. Appetizer. Yes. Goat cheese appetizer. It's got crispy chips and then the goat cheese underneath. And then we got extra crispy chips. Yes. This is in Morocco. Yes. The Marrakesh. And it's very good. These are crispy and it's got a little spice to it. And then the sweet goat cheese. Okay, this is a salad you get at the Moroccan restaurant. With who it's with your feast? With the, it comes with our feast. Chicken bastilla. And then we have a chicken bastilla. No, this is a chicken bastilla. No, this is. This. Kind of like a pastry shell. It's got powdered sugar on top and it's stuffed with the. Chicken? Obviously, chicken. I don't remember what this is. And then it comes with a. This is mine. A soup. This is my marriage. And a little pastry. I'm not sure what kind of soups. Looks like it's got some corn in there, some meat in there. And then uh, fried pastry. I don't even know what this is. It probably would have been a good idea to know what these things are before <laughs> I recorded this. But it looks good. <laughs> and the uh, goat cheese uh, things that we just tried, the goat cheese and crispy yeah, things, yeah. those were really good. They're like deep fried uh, tortilla chips. And they're very good. It salad is really good. It has a little bit too many tomatoes on it for me, but somebody likes tomatoes will really like it. The dressing on it was very tasty. I'm not sure what it was. The soup, it was a little too beany for me, but it was still good. Mm -hmm. And we love the uh, Bastilla pastry and uh, the other uh, smaller pastry. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a uh, egg roll with uh, sugar on top. Is what it tasted like. Very so it's good. kind of like a mixture of an egg roll and a donut. Very good. Okay, we're still in Morocco, and this is the Marrakesh feast. Point out what you got. Okay. These are, these are different kebabs that have the lamb, the chicken, lamb, chicken, and sausage. You got Turkish salad, or Moroccan salad, sorry, Moroccan salad. Like it's mostly you tomatoes. Got, you got mixed vegetables, and I think you got pineapple in here and green peppers. And then uh, potatoes, mm -hmm. potato wedges. Mm -hmm. And over here is the royal feast. Comes with uh, chicken and uh, couscous. 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 couscous in here. Mm -hmm. and, then you got the and then the lamb. Okay, so my meal, the chicken was very good, very tender, and the lamb just fell off the bone. You just picked the bone up and the meat fell right off it. The uh, couscous, it's an acquired taste. I don't think I'd go out and order it by itself. And we had a few bites, and I think we're both kind of over it. 
the vegetables that were mixed in, which I think was a uh, sweet potato and uh, some zucchinis and some peppers, and those were pretty good. <clears throat> then on Wayne, the uh, potato wedges were uh, super crispy on the outside, super tender on the inside. The uh, shish kebabs were very good, really seasoned, super tender. And uh, this one was chicken. And then this one is beef. That one is beef. And then the uh, salad, it's uh, mostly all tomatoes, but it's got a good sauce on it, which makes it kind of sweet. Okay, here's our dessert at Morocco. This is the baklava. It uh, definitely looks different for uh, baklava than I've ever had, but still got the phyllo dough. We've got almond shavings here. Brown sugar and cinnamon. And then the, this is the uh, dessert bastillo. It's uh, still the phyllo leaves. It's got phyllo leaves crumbs on it. It's got almonds and cinnamon and sugar, and then a uh, pastry cream. And then we've got a uh, Moroccan, Moroccan coffee. coffee. Shouldn't keep me up for a week. Which smells pretty strong. I can smell it from here. It's supposed to keep up. You keep me up for a week. <clears throat> so here's our pastilla plate. We finished the uh, phyllo leaves, and it's definitely tastier when it's uh, soggy. The pastilla is pretty unflavorful when it's uh, nothing's on it. Um, the baklava was very good also. How do you guys like the appetizer? How do you like Excellent. the appetizer we were talking about? Oh, everything is very good. And the good. coffee, he says, was very strong, but he likes it. He said it will definitely keep him up.